The brand new Fortnite Live event is taking place right now before Season 3 and I'll be showcasing just that. Also, we have some brand new news on Kratos returning to Fortnite and when we could be seeing Kratos. Also, we have news on some brand new collabs coming through, new icon skins coming through, and also brand new free rewards we can unlock right now. If you're excited to check any of this out, make sure you stay tuned and watch this video until the end. And also, as y'all can see here in Fortnite, they ended up releasing and removing something pretty quickly. Now, what was that? Well, if you take a look at the Star Wars items, you're going to notice the Luke bundle is completely gone. And also, they have officially removed Yoda from Fortnite as well. Yes, Yoda has been officially removed from the Fortnite item shop. Now, why is that? Well, that's because Yoda was actually causing people's games to freeze and crash. So Fortnite ended up removing the entire bundle from the item shop. So keep that in mind. If you went to go look for, you know, Yoda and didn't see Yoda or the Luke bundle, it's gone. It's gone for now, and I'm sure it's going to be returning here a little bit later when we get a brand new Fortnite update. Now, speaking of Fortnite updates, we will be getting a brand new Billie Eilish skin here in the Fortnite item shop, which is going to have a red theme to it. Also, her bundle is going to cost 2300 V-Bucks, and also her up-and-coming drum set has been already leaked a few days ago, as you can see here on screen. Now, if you're planning on copping yourself the brand new Billie Eilish skin or anything from the item shop, consider using code 007. I am an Epic Partner, so if you take two seconds out of your day to support me, thank you so much. I do appreciate it big time. Just leave a comment down below saying I use your code, and I'll be sure to heart as many comments as I possibly can. Now, with that being said, we have a ton more news to go over, so without further ado, let's get straight into it. Next up, the new Fortnite update is dropping next week. On May 14th, we're getting a brand new Fortnite update. Now, this update is going to be massive because we're getting a brand new live in-game event, which I'll be talking about more later on in this video. Also, Kratos updates, Season 3 Battle Pass skin updates, teasers, leaks, and all. I'll be going over everything, so just make sure you have those notifications on for the channel. And also, really quickly, if you want a chance at getting yourself a gifted item like here on screen, all you got to do is drop a like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. Most importantly, make sure you go ahead and leave your Epic Games account name down below up in the comments so I can add you up if you end up winning. Good luck. And if you could, please share today's video. Thank you so much if you do. And now let's continue along. The creator from the binding of isaac has confirmed that there's been further contact with epic games to make a fortnite collaboration happen so this should be happening here very very soon new collabs new vibes coming on through probably sometime this summer or maybe sometime sooner than that who knows we'll see now with that being said there's a brand new collab coming through. My Hero Academia is supposed to be getting another collab here in Fortnite. But as y'all can see, it hasn't been in Fortnite just yet. But as you can see, Fortnite might be the best at making collabs happen. But they're the worst at dropping them or bringing them back on anniversaries or special occasions. So the brand new My Hero Academia skins, the bundles. You know, a lot of people were expecting this to drop here the last few days. It hasn't been out yet, so maybe this weekend sometime or this week sometime we'll see them. But either way, eventually we'll end up seeing the brand new My Hero Academia skins come on through. So be ready. Also, Fortnite has been or basically started granting all Battle Pass owners the um, glider you see here on screen. So all Battle Pass owners are being granted this glider for free so pretty much you well, obviously for free if you have the battle pass it's a bonus but it's auto completed it's being auto completed for all battle pass owners so if you notice you loaded up and got the glider without doing any quests or challenges for it well that is why fortnite is granting it literally to everyone so yeah there we go now with that being said the useless lightsaber is now easier to obtain as you can see, Fortnite has decreased Darth Vader's health and shield from 700 each to 550 each. So yeah, if you didn't know, 
Darth Vader is actually on the Fortnite map. I made a video on this a few days ago and you can, you know, it's on, on the Fortnite map. You can find Darth Vader and you can eliminate Darth Vader and get the lightsaber if you want. That is the only way to get the lightsaber. Is it really worth it? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below if it is in your opinion. Now, with that being said, Fortnite has now begun is or Fortnite is now being tested on Apple slash iOS for the re-release in the EU here soon. So we could be seeing this happen within the next few weeks to the next few months. I think it's going to be happening here very, very soon. So if you're from the EU, you're going to be able to download Fortnite on your iOS device very, very soon. Be ready. Now, with that being said, this time around, we have Rocket Racing, a Lego mode. We have Battle Royale, of course, festival mode. So there's going to be a lot more options to play on mobile devices um, here this time around. So super excited for that. Now, with that being said, Fortnite had another Greek god planned for season two, but it was canceled. It was supposed to, or he was supposed to have a fire hammer mythic, which means he was supposed to be, as y'all could see here on screen, Hephaestus. So pretty much Hephaestus was it supposed to be coming through? Um, this is also the skin from the surveys. I'm not going to lie, the skin looks super clean. But yeah, this uh, god didn't end up coming through. Either way, you know, the season has been pretty good so far. Now, with that being said, we do have some brand new free rewards we can unlock. As you can see, seven is a lucky number. Even in a galaxy far, far away. Complete the quests to get the seven string guitar the free guitar so if you can uh, get your challenges done if you can complete your quests you'll get yourself this guitar for completely free so make sure you unlock that free reward before it's gone uh, during this awesome star wars event now with that being said we're getting a brand new season two mini live event the code name for this event is super sport and it's currently encrypted meaning we can't really see what the event is going to be about but what we do know is that there's going to be multiple different stages to this event. So it's probably going to play out for about like 10 days or so, maybe two weeks um, leading up to season three. And whatever's going to end up happening, there's going to be multiple different stages leading all the way to the Pandora box. So we could be seeing the Pandora box open up again, the lava hand coming through again. Either way, I'll keep you guys in a loop as we're getting a brand new update here in the, uh, on the next few days coming up here basically next week we're getting a brand new update once that comes out i'm sure there's going to be a ton of leaks so i'll keep you in the loop just make sure you have those notifications on so you don't miss out now with that being said as you all could see here on screen fortnite finally fixed a bug that was preventing players from obtaining the ps5 exclusive kratos skin as you all could see here on screen now this could mean that they're getting ready to re-release kratos here within the item shop as you all know kratos has been rumored to be coming back so this might be some more confirmation that kratos is actually coming here very very soon but of course i will keep you in the loop